Okay, what's going on YouTube? It's Dylan here, and I'm finally ready to install the P2R Thought Body Spacer. So let's get started. Sorry if it's a little bit dark in here. It is 10 p.m. and this is the only time I can do it, so why not? The first thing we're gonna do is remove the negative terminal from the battery, take off the MAF sensor, take off this plug over here. Okay, so I removed the negative terminal from the battery. It's a 10 millimeter. I unplug this. And now I just have to use a flathead, remove the clamps, uh, remove this back bracket down here. I think that's a 10 millimeter as well. Take this clamp out from the lower air box and then just remove the intake. And just like that, I got the intake out. Still pretty clean. Not too bad. So now we can really begin the process of the P2R throttle body spacer. So let's go. So now it's time to remove the throttle body. So you have these four studs over here on each corner. And those are 12 millimeters. That's what you want to remove. So you just crack it, crack it open with the 12. Take this nut off. got to be careful you don't want to drop it in your engine bay. So that one is a nut. And then this one. If y'all can see. This one is a stud. Just take that out right over here. And I'm going to finish the rest. So I removed the four nuts or studs. Well, two of them are studs. Two of them are nuts. So the other two studs are still there. But now the throttle body is ready to come off, as you can see. But before I do that, this is the hardware that P2R supplies. It comes with four extra new studs, washers, and a vacuum plug. So that's what you're going to use to install the spacer. So let's, I'm just going to remove the throttle body and I'll catch up after. Okay, so I got the throttle body out. This is a OEM gasket. It's a little bit tough to get this out. Uh, when you do do this, you're gonna smell fuel. Don't be worried, it's normal. The fuel lines are over there. But I'm sweating a little bit. That's how tough it was to take the throttle body out. You gotta use a lot of strength. So the OEM gasket, I think they use a sealant. So a bit of the paper is still left in that corner. And then if you look inside the throttle body, it's kind of dirty. At this time, we can can use this time to clean it. So now, after this, you gotta remove the stock studs. So this is gonna be the probably the hardest part. You gotta remove the stock studs, so you can replace it with the longer and newer studs for the P2R throttle body spacer. Okay, so to remove the stock stud, the best way to do this, to approach this, is by using the OEM nut, lock that in first, and then use the second nut to lock it against it. After that, you just grab your 12, start moving counterclockwise, lefty loosey, and get the OEM stud out. That's probably your best way to do it. Okay, so I removed the top stud, now I'm doing the bottom one. So it's the same thing, same technique. And because this one is so tight, you want to remove the, the top bracket for the throttle body over here. It's a 10 millimeter. That will give you more room as you get the stud out. All done taking out the OEM studs. Now what you want to do is, is you want to look at your throttle body and look at the surrounding. You want to give that a wipe down. Also the intake manifold as well. I have a few metal shavings, so I'm going to wipe it down. So now that I wiped it down, the throttle body spacer is ready to go in. So we got the longer bolt with a washer, as you can see. And then we got the spacer. And it also has like a, a hole, extra hole for like anyone who's running nitrous. And since I'm not doing that, um, it comes with a vacuum plug. So you're gonna wanna plug that in if you're not running nitrous. You don't want any leaks in your throttle body. 
So I'm going to start with this thermal gasket, plug up this hole, and then uh, the second thermal gasket, and then use the longer studs with the washer and bolt it up, and we're good to go. The P2R should be facing this way, it should be facing you as you install it. So let's see what it looks like. Okay, so I have everything set up, ready to go. So when you're putting it on, you want to put on the studs first. I've only got two so far. So I have the top one and the bottom one. And then I'll just fit in the next two after I slide in. The, after I slide in everything. So yeah, let's see the final product. Are y'all ready? There it is, P2R throttle body spacer. With the two thermal gaskets. You can see the logo over there. Just gotta put back the intake. So everything is finally complete. Intake is back. Still has some good fitment. The P2R goes along with the battery tie down. Yep. Anyways, looking good. Okay y'all, so it's a new day. I tightened everything down last night. So we're about to do the first startup. No engine lights. So when you take off your battery, you need to enter the code for the radio. And you can find your code just on the side over here. So even though I'm on Handata, I'm going to let the car idle for about 10 minutes. Let the ECU adjust itself to the new uh, spacer. And yeah. Okay, so I don't hear any noises, no hissing, no leaks. So I guess it's good to go. There you have it, P2R throttle body spacer installed. I hope to help. Like, share, subscribe, do what you have to do. This is Dylan here from Pipe Beam Screw, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace out.